Hoaxes and rumors have always been a persistent part of video games. No matter what game it is, there will always be some guy trying to convince you that you can actually unlock Squidward in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Pikmin isn't an exception to this. There have always been an abundance of hoaxes and rumors for this game, even for the most recent game in the series, Pikmin 4. And I thought it would be fun to go through these various hoaxes, as a lot of them are just pure nonsense. Before we delve into these, make sure to subscribe for high quality Pikmin videos weekly. One of the most popular hoaxes that I remember was one revolving around blue Pikmin and Pikmin 1, and that there was this hidden technique that could magically turn them into purple Pikmin. Now these weren't the purple Pikmin from Pikmin 2, these were literally just blue Pikmin, but they were purple and they acted the exact same. This hoax was showcased in a video uploaded in 2011. I spent a long time looking for the original video and it took so long I originally thought it was Lula LOST MEDIA <coughs> But thankfully Flamzy was able to find it for me. The video is pretty primitive editing, just showcasing how to unlock purple Pikmin. The technique is landing in the impact site, throwing a blue Pikmin into the lake, leaving, and then on the next day there'd magically be a purple Pikmin there. The reason I remember this one is because I actually tried it as a kid, and spoiler alert, it doesn't work. I mean, you don't really need to try this one out for yourself to figure out it's fake, like there's many suspicious things, like the icon of the Pikmin suspiciously being cut off. Now you may be wondering, if this isn't real, then how did this guy get purples? And that's actually because there is a secret way to get purples. That's right, we're gonna cheat. The way I got purples, and I'm also assuming the way the original uploader got purples, is via these cheat codes that can change the color of Pikmin. These are pretty cool and finally let me live out my lifelong dream of having purple Pikmin and Pikmin 1. Another funny thing about this video is despite how old it is being in 2011, the original uploader is still active and he's still in the comments section of the newest video to this day saying it's real. I mean, I respect the dedication, but at what point do you just let it go? Another alleged secret type of Pikmin is Rainbow Pikmin. This Pikmin would be immune to every single hazard and be able to carry bomb rocks. The large majority of information on these guys seems to be lost media. <coughs> However, there still is this random article on the Urban Legends wiki about it. Apparently the two methods of unlocking these guys are beating the game really quickly, there isn't a specified time, you just have to be really quick, are throwing bomb rocked yellow Pikmin in the impact site and then immediately leaving the area the second they touch the ground. I, I really love this idea of Miyamoto like making his team program 10 types of Pikmin that will never be seen by like 99% of players. Oh, Mr. Miyamoto, we only have two months left to finish the game and we only have two areas done. Uh, program fucking Cinnabar Pikmin, and they can be unlocked by throwing a red Pikmin while the GameCube is at room temperature. If this isn't completed by tomorrow, your wages are lost media. Another strange rumor is that you can make the BD Longlegs leave his arena, which would apparently cause him to glitch out of existence, and then you couldn't beat the game, and then Freddy Fazbear would delete your save file. There was many strange variations I heard of this one online. They all had the same basis of him leaving the arena, but the after effects are always different. Him leaving the arena is impossible under normal circumstances, as he is programmed to only be able to move around a certain part of his arena. Someone actually did mod the game, however, to make him leave his arena, and he acts relatively normally. The most common variation of this rumor is that if he fell into a pit, the game would crash. This isn't true, he just glitches out and despawns. Despite how massive of a game Pikmin 2 is, I never really remember there being that many rumors about it. Most of the things that got spread about this game that sounded like fake rumors were actually true, such as the secret enemies only spawn every 30 days in the Wistful Wild. However, I do remember a lot of people claiming to get into the submerged castle with non-blue Pikmin. For all three people that aren't informed, the submerged castle is a cave in the perplexing pool that is covered by water which means only blue Pikmin can get in. Even if you somehow manage to get a non-blue Pikmin over to the entrance, the game will just ignore their existence when you try to enter the cave. However, this may have you wondering, what happens if you do somehow manage to get into the castle with non-blue Pikmin? If you mod the game or use something like the Pikmin 2 practice hack, this can be achieved. The most interesting thing that comes out of this is if you bring purple Pikmin. You can kill the water wraith earlier than you're supposed to, and he even drops the treasure. Other than that, it plays out relatively normally, aside from it being a pain in the ass because you can't get past the pools of water. Another strange rumor is that if you played past day 300, then your save file would become lost me- Then your save file would be erased. 
This one isn't true, people have managed to get way past day 300 and their save file isn't erased. The actual limit to the amount of days you can play in Pikmin 2 is 4,294,967,296 days. If you somehow manage to reach this limit, it doesn't even delete your save, it just resets back to day 1, along with bringing back all the tutorial stuff which is neat. Now Pikmin 3 really didn't have that much in the way for hoaxes. The most interesting one was submitted to me by Tori on Twitter, and it's about a supposed music leak for Pikmin 3. The video showcases a Photoshop Pikmin 2 logo and a remix of the Forest Naval from Pikmin 1. This video probably would have been lost to time, but thankfully it was found on a USB drive and it was downloaded from 2011. It is still unknown who actually made the video, but it is interesting to see. Other than that though, there is really nothing for Pikmin 3. I did get a few interesting suggestions, but most of them are just gone, such as this supposed video which contained a jump scare from the Umi Bozo. I do remember one which was like a fake trailer for Pikmin 3, and it was just this guy playing Gmod with like ragdoll Pikmin models. But unfortunately, most hoaxes on Pikmin 3 seems to be undiscovered artistry. Hey Pikmin had a very common misconception for years that it was actually Pikmin 4. Nowadays it's pretty easy to tell which one is Pikmin 4, but before it wasn't so clear. Before the real Pikmin 4 was announced, there was several debates for years about whether this game was Pikmin 4 or just a spin-off. Things like the interview that came out two years before stating that Pikmin 4 was near completion was brought up as proof for this game being Pikmin 4. It's pretty silly looking back at it. I remember being worried that these duck things would permanently replace Bulborbs back when the game came out and that had me livid. Moving on to the real Pikmin 4, and with being a recent release, you would expect it to basically have no hoaxes around it, however you would be wrong. While there weren't any hoaxes after the game came out, before the game came out was a different story, it was like the Wild West out there. The first major rumour was about Orange Pikmin. These guys were very similar to the final Glow Pikmin we had in the game, however they only had one eye and were orange. There were several screenshots of them and they even had an onion shot, however it was quickly debunked as all the shots all matched up with the second trailer, and the orange Pikmin just looked really off in all their photos. If you're curious on why these guys got really close to what we got into the final game, it's because both of these Pikmin are based off the ghost Pikmin in the 2014 seminar notebook, with the fake one being much more faithful. The seminar notebook was given out to people that attended some events that Nintendo held and it showcased beta designs for Pikmin 3. A lot of these designs are really cool, and it's a shame that they all became locked. The next leak showed dialogue exchanges between the new characters. The first one showcased the supposed main character, which the leak calls her Palm based off of the dog breed. Notably, the entire fandom calls this character Palm today, so I guess this leak did leave an impact. Next image showcases Russ, which the leak calls Terrence. This one actually managed to predict Sparkly and being in the game, which is neat. And there is also a third image, but you can really tell this wasn't legitimate at this point. The final leak was pretty impressive. It was a team effort that gathered several big names in the Pikmin community to concoct this fake leak. A full recreation of the Pikmin 4 map from the trailer was done by eye for this. Showcases nighttime gameplay with new types of Pikmin such as Bulbmen and Breadbugmen. I would have much preferred Volatile Dweevilman, but that's just me. It's running off a modified version of Pikmin 3 and it is pretty impressive. I recommend you check out Wigwam Man's video about its creation. That's basically every hoax and rumour in Pikmin. I have not forgotten a single one. Right, there's nothing else to cover so you might as well just close the video. Alright, fine. Fiddlebert. He's by far the most popular hoax in Pikmin, despite him being only a few months old and being made as a joke. The hoax goes that he was originally a character in the GameCube release of Pikmin 1, but Nintendo censored him in the Switch and Wii ports. There really isn't that much to say about him, despite him being really popular, he's practically more popular than some actual characters in the Pikmin series at this point. But he has been modded into Pikmin 1 and 2, and he also was on New York Times Square, which is pretty cool. Due to his popularity, I'm gonna elect this guy as the official face of Pikmin hoaxes. That concludes basically every hoax in the Pikmin series. It was fun to look back on these strange hoaxes, as a lot of them were weird, but they were fun. Hopefully when Pikmin 5 eventually comes out, there'll be some interesting hoaxes about that game.